Okay, welcome back. Uh, today I want to expand a bit on the Joomla installation from last week. And I've just copied and pasted article content. Or I just, I've just created a few more articles and copied and pasted the content from Wikipedia just so that there's more to show because some things can't really be seen unless there's more than one article. Okay, let's have a look at our front page for now and I put a bit more content in as well. So at the moment we've only got one that Cedar article featured on the landing page but I've created several more articles now and let's feature them or oh, let's feature a few more and let's refresh the page and you will see that the first article, the same as in, in the sample installation, is spread across the whole width and the following articles um, are, are in different columns next to each other. In this case we also get the, the full article. Uh, if you remember the sample data there was some sort of read more button. Okay. Um, Let's look at this article, that's Cedar. Now, if you want to read more button, I could just go wherever I want that read more point to be. Now, I click this read, read more button and I get this red line. I save the article and let's refresh. Yeah. And now we only get parts of the article because there's not enough space here. So this is the cutoff point. But if I click on the article, I see the whole article. So this uh, read more line can be a, a useful tool. Okay, why does it look like... Uh, let's go back to the, uh, to the main page. Okay, why does it look like this? One article is spread over the whole width, others are next to each other. Um, this is actually a setting for your for your home page. So if you click on menus, main menu, you will see that at the moment there's only one menu and I'll explain menus in a moment. But at the moment yeah, there's only one menu with only one menu item. So in in Joomla this is a menu and there can be many menu items. There's only one menu item called home and if we click on home home is a menu that will display all the featured articles. And if I click on layout I can decide what kind of featured articles do I want to see and in this case I see featured article articles across all categories. Yeah. I could say I only want to see featured articles that are needled these yeah, and then the leafed these should disappear. So let's try that out but it should be pretty straightforward. I save, I refresh, yeah. the leafed these have disappeared. Okay, I want all categories, refresh. I get all of those articles and I get them because they are featured. Leading articles at the moment I've got one. Uh, the leading art articles are the articles that are spread across the whole width. So I could change that to two for example. Yeah. Intro articles, how many do I want? You know, those articles that are cut off at the intro level. I could also say I want two, I don't want three. How many columns do I want? Uh, at the moment I have three columns. I could also say I only want two columns. And links, um, uh, that's the number of articles that will be displayed at the bottom and we only display a link to the article. So let's say everything that doesn't fit, uh, let's say up to five 
we want uh, we want links I save that I leave flash so here we we have two uh, page that are spread across the full width uh, two articles that are spread across the full width and two intro articles and uh, we only picked four so no opportunity at the moment to show links but let's make the last article I have featured okay let's leave flash and now you can see yeah, all the following articles in this case large will be just featured as a link and if I go to the next page basically we start where we left off and uh, whatever has been only displayed as a link at the bottom will now be displayed uh, with full width uh, let's go back um, So things will now be, be, be displayed with two leading articles that have full width, two intro articles spread over two columns. Um, you know, we, we could have, for example, four intro articles with two columns each. In that case, we would we would have two intro articles next to each other, and then another two article intro articles below that. Okay, let's go back to the old setup because that was working quite well and, and let's go to the first page yeah so we got the old setup again but because there are too many featured articles now we've got five featured articles but we can only fit one uh, we can only fit four on the page uh, that's why we get this navigation bar um, to display the follow-on featured articles. We've got other options here as well. Um, how do we how do we want to order multiple columns? How do we want to order the categories? How do we want to order the articles? How, uh, yeah. The date for ordering, what do we use? Pagination. Yeah, do we want to show it? Do we not want to show it? Let's hide it. Refresh. Yeah, and that menu, menu is gone. If we don't want our featured articles spread over several pages, we can get that off the menu. We can get that off the navigation bar. Okay. We have other options. Do we want to show the title? Do we sh want to show the intro text? And do we want to show the author here on the on the home page? Yeah, maybe I don't want to show the author. I could I could have a global setting that tells the system whether I want to show the author or not but I could overwrite it. So I could say normally I want to show the author, but on the main page I don't want to show the author. Yeah. And the author has disappeared now. 